You know that saying? It's what's inside that counts? Does that really apply here? I mean, we're inside of the moon, and the moon looks amazing. It's really peaceful. Okay, whoa. Earthquake on the moon. All right. <laughs> But yeah, we're inside the moon, guys, and the moon looks freaking peaceful. It's like, did Link die? Is this supposed to be heaven or something? I don't know, but this is what's inside the moon. It looks amazing. Uh, if you head up to the tree in the center of the moon, you're going to notice that there are a bunch of kids running around. Creepy as that may seem, this is the trials for what's up ahead. Now, if you are lazy and you don't have all of the masks with you, you're gonna wanna talk to the Skull Kid. But this time it's not actually a Skull Kid, it's it's a kid wearing Majora's Mask. So you're gonna wanna talk to this little kid wearing the mask and you'll be able to fight the final boss within the game. But I'm gonna be getting the final mask, the 24th mask within the game, and that is by giving away all of my masks. Now don't worry, if you do do this quest, when you rewind time or when the game's over, you're going to have them all again. So you're not giving up all of your masks for one specific mask. So keep that in mind because I know a lot of people get confused with this uh, whole thing. But no, we're going to be giving up masks just for this time to obtain another mask. But when we're done with all of this, we'll have them all again, including the mask we're going to get from doing this. So yeah, as you can tell, little kids are running around. They all look the same. They actually resemble... The, if we if I can see his hairline, yes, it resembles the Happy Mask Salesman. Exactly. Like, these are little childs that resemble the Happy Mask Salesman. It's kind of creepy how that's the thing, but yeah. Anywho, they all wear a mask of the main bosses within the game. This is Adolwa. He has Adolwa's remains, as you can tell, so... Ah, nice weather, isn't it? Masks, you have a lot. You too will be a mask salesman? Then I'll play with you. So, the masks. Give me some. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and start from my least favorite mask since I'm going to be giving them out. And the first one I want to give away is the Mask of Sense. Let's be honest. Who, who needs that? I mean, yeah, cool pig sound effects and stuff, but that's it. So, hide and seek. Let's play. Alright, I'll hide. Okay. So, yeah, by coughing up your masks, you get to play these little trials. Now, you may say, wait a second, you're out of the game and how you don't have a heart piece. Okay, that may have not made any sense, but I don't care. What I meant by that is, yes, we are at the end of the game and I don't have each heart container. We're actually going to get a piece of heart from playing a game with each of these little kids here on the moon and that will fulfill the final heart container because there are four. Obviously, the kid with Majora's Mask is not going to give us a piece of heart. He's going to give us access to the freaking credits in the end of the game, of course. So, yeah, it's completely different. But these trials are really easy, really short. It's kind of cool, though, how we get to re-experience all of the dungeons again with similar music. As you can tell, it's playing Woodfall's music here. And uh, there is no boss to them, but they do get harder as you go on. So just keep that in mind. And uh, hopefully we'll do well, because how these work is uh, at least the first three are more so like, uh, how do I want to say it? Like, kind of like, uh, I, I honestly don't know how to word it. They're, just, they're difficult because you could fail at them. Like this one, I could fall and fail. It's not like it's a puzzle I have to solve. It's just platforming sections pretty much. And if you're not good at platforming in a Zelda game, then that's fine because Zelda doesn't really have a lot of platforming. But there could be some that might screw you over, so yeah, that's pretty much what I mean. So you might fail on these, but if you don't, then you're good. So there we go, we got the first piece of heart, and we are at the end. And keep in mind that you can't give away your transformation masks, so you're going to be giving away the other 20 masks you obtained within the game. These common ones like this one, the couple's mask. So, you found me? Hey, I want more masks. Okay, um... Let's see, now, I don't really like Don Gero, so you can have that one. <laughs> thanks! You're nice! And, yes, more ongoing events. Child's Play! That's kind of weird, so Child with Adola Mask. So, um, can I ask a question? Your friends, what kind of people are they? I wonder, do those people think of you as a friend? Yeah, these guys are really freaking creepy, may I just add that? Alright, so we need the Goron Mask for the next area because the next trial thing will be... Okay, wait, I just realized you gotta do it like this. Wait. 
How do I swap? Can I just do this? There we go. Um, the next trial will be based off of Snowhead, so yeah, and I actually want to roll up to them because it takes a while to head to them, and I won't have the bunny mask throughout all of this because I'm going to have to cough it up eventually, so is this the one with Got? Yes, it is. Okay, let's go ahead and speak to him. You want to speak to him as a kid, but... Ah, nice weather, isn't it? Mask, okay, they all say the same thing. I find it funny how they say you're also going to be a happy mask salesman, as in they... Are technically salesmen just like the person they look like which is the happy mask salesman really creepy <laughs> I have a couple theories about it but I'm not gonna get into that we're just gonna focus on beating all of these and this is definitely the most difficult one in my eyes because it may be simple you just have to be really accurate with one thing and that is going straight and you're gonna see what I mean by that. So this room, what you have to do is you have to transform into a Goron and roll forward. And what happens here is while rolling forward, you're gonna bump into chests. Not like that, that did not work out at all. But you need to bump into the chest, that way you can keep your momentum and you'll, you're gonna turn the right direction. For some reason, I can't do this for the life of me, but once you start rolling, let go of the analog stick completely and then let the Goron take its course. Now, as you can tell, I'm not having any luck with this, but I'm hoping I can get it down without having to cut a lot of this. So there we go. Maybe this is what I needed. <gasps> nope. Okay. Yeah, you have to be really accurate with how you do this. If you're centered perfectly, then you'll be able to do this with ease. But as you can tell, I don't really have luck with that because I am just one unlucky guy. So let's go ahead and see if this one does it. <gasps> Yay! All right. So I'm not moving the analog stick even slightly. I'm just letting the Goron take its course. Now I'm going to turn it a little bit here so we can have a better roll. And there we go. Now I'm going to start controlling the Goron, which is Link, I guess. And we have to roll around here and be really accurate. I don't want to slow down because there are ramps where we have to jump. So you don't want to slow down at all. No! I, I passed the hardest part, and now I had to fall. Yeah, this is definitely going to take me a while, so I guess I will uh, let you guys know when I get this down eventually, because I am not going to do it anytime soon, it seems. But the music that it plays is the Ice Cavern music from Ocarina of Time. I don't think it actually had an area in this game that played this besides here, which is a nice reference. Hopefully this time is the charm. I think it might be. I'm going to move the analog stick a little bit so he can be re-centered. There we go. All right. Sweet. All right. I have a feeling this is the run, guys. This is the roll. Not the run. Because we ain't running. We're rolling all around. Like, at the speed of sound. Got places to go. Got to follow my rainbow. Yeah. Okay. Now, just center him again. Because there's going to be another chest we're going to have to bump into. Which is right over here. I have to hit it like that. Woo! All right, we did it. Let's go and pick up this piece of heart. So I didn't have to cut. I'm pretty proud of myself because normally it can take me up to like freaking 100 trillion hours to do this. So, yeah. So let me know if you guys struggle with this because maybe I'm just really unlucky. I don't know, man. But to make this easier on us, we're going to go ahead and stop here. And then you want to run down here because these portals, if you... Uh, roll into them, you're actually going to be teleported back to the beginning, and we don't want that to happen since we're already at the end. Now let's go ahead and build up a m momentum for this ramp, and we made it. Sweet. Alright, it's kind of weird how the uh, the moon rumbles, but it makes sense because the giants are holding it down and it's trying to force its way into Termina. Either way, it shouldn't make that much of an explosion because it's not moving nearly as fast, but still uh we have to be careful but here we are in a really cool looking room you got a wallpaper of clouds it looks like it was painted on it actually and uh yeah they all look really childlike and playful kid rooms but they're not because these guys are i mean you can't really say they're evil but you know all right so you found me hey i want more masks okay let's see what else what else do i not like this is the stuff I don't like, definitely. You know, all night mask. It only proved to be helpful once. Same goes with the troop leader mask, though I like how it does the crying things, but there we go. Next one down. Now we can continue on on our quest of uh, stuff, but you know, yeah, they're all gonna say similar dialogue, so I'm gonna start skipping through that. Also, if you're wondering what happens if you run through here, uh, you're gonna see right now there is the infamous invisible wall. That means you can't head any for further because that's how games go. You know, they don't want to 
give you that feeling that you're actually trapped, but you are trapped. So you look at it like, oh my god, this is endless. This moon is paradise. Then you actually try to continue on and you realize that's not the case. So, anyways, this is supposed to be Georg. So, uh, nice weather, new masks. And the more, or uh, the ones you talk to, like these ones, they ask for more masks. As you can tell by temple goes, you know, the more difficult and the later the temple would be, the more masks they request. So, yeah, right now I'm not really looking into which mask is more helpful or which one I need because you don't need any of them you just need your transformation masks to do all of these so that's why I'm making sure I just have those this may be the most difficult one to some people because this is like a maze and they changed it from the original game in the original N64 version it was a lot easier and this one they made it a lot more difficult and I hope I'll be able to execute this easily I really hope so, but we shall see, my friends. So what we need to do is we need to transform, obviously, into Azora. This is, you know, based off of the Great Bay. And what we're going to do, since we have infinite magic, I can ignore these uh, magic pots. But there's a bunch of them littered throughout here because you need to go as fast as you can. What you do is you essentially hit a switch, and then the, uh, the door opens up for you, and it's open for a limited time. And you have to pick the correct path, because if you don't, you restart the whole thing. And if you don't make this jump right over here, you also have to restart everything. So yeah, you're going to enter that black uh, hole of sorts, and you're going to start back at the beginning. And the more you progress, the the worse it is. Because if you do mess up, then you have to start all the way from the beginning. And as you can tell, the door does shut on you, and you can't go back. So you have to literally just restart constantly. So it makes it really difficult. But as long as you have, you know, magic and you can control the Zora moving really quickly, you don't have to worry about timing and you don't have to really worry about the Zora, you know, dolphin jump if you're good at it. I'm not really good at the dolphin jump. I'm sure you guys are aware of that. But this path here, we're going to take the far left or the far right, rather. Don't know the difference between left and right. Uh, so we took the right path at first and now we're taking the left one. And then we should have this help us up and there we go all right now the last one here is a little tricky because there are two correct paths one will take you to the little kid which is you know the kid with the georix remains or the mask and the other one will take you to the piece of heart so we're gonna get the piece of heart which is actually in the dead center of these three pathways where they split up and then we have to redo all of this to make our way back to the kids. So I really hope I don't fail this one, because it's definitely really upsetting if you fail one that is right at the end. So there we go, we made it, and we got ourselves the piece of heart. Sweet. All right, one more piece of heart, and we have every heart container within the game, which is pretty nice to know, but let's go ahead and restart all of this. I'm gonna follow the same two paths in the beginning and change my last one to make it correct, I guess. You guys know, so I can actually head to the one that will take me to the little kid. So I can leave this place and give him more masks. Now you may say, oh, I got the piece of heart. So I mean, what's the point? I don't need to give him masks. I'll just leave from the portal that's in the beginning of this room. No, you don't want to do that because uh, you will not get the, the mask, the final mask in the game without giving away all of your masks. So you have to cough them all up, except the transformation ones, of course. So, you know, the actual 20 you get throughout the game. And it is so worth it because it's going to be my absolute favorite mask, hands down. I'm sure you guys know what it is because if you guys don't, then get ready. It's, it's pretty, pretty amazing. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm really excited to actually get it in this remake. So, yeah, but let's go ahead and do a jump. All right, sweet. And now last one. So far, so good. I haven't failed this at all. Watch me jinx it here on the final dolphin jump. Wouldn't surprise me if that happened, but... This one's actually really far away. You have to be super quick with this one. They try to make it a little difficult because what we need to do is even if you were gonna take the highest path right here, there's more to it and you're gonna see what I mean. So what I'm gonna do is I'm essentially gonna do the dolphin jump here and then, all right. There's, there's a small like water thing that actually gives you a boost. But see, so you have to continue on. We still haven't made it to the end. So dolphin swim, there we go. And now, oh no, the, the thing is shutting. All right, we made it as it was shutting. Sweet. Now let's go ahead and speak to him, and you must speak to him with the mask off. So you found me. I want more masks. All right. You can have my postman's hat, because who needs that? You can have my Keaton's mask, because that is whack. 
can have my blast mask because we blast that. But I don't know what I'm saying, man. <sighs> but there we go. Ongoing events. Another one has been added. So, a child with Georg mask. Georg, yay. So, if you do the right thing, does it really make everybody happy? Huh. Deep questions, my friend. Freaking deep questions. Alright, now, final kid. This one's actually pretty easy because it's more of a mini boss rush thing. So it's not that difficult. So just go ahead and speak to him. The kids do disappear after you give them as many masks as they want. They don't want to play with you anymore. So yeah, but we're going to be coughing up our remaining masks to this kid. So how many do we have left? Three. So we have seven. So yeah, I guess he wants eight in total. And don't think, you know, if you have 19 masks, you'll be able to do this. Like, oh, he might not ask for that last mask. You know, you have to have all 20 or he's not going to be satisfied. You got to give him all of them. So here we go, guys. We're in. This is not even like Stone Tower Temple. This is like a freaking, I don't know. It's, it's different. It's like a temple, to say the least. But it is really well detailed. It looks amazing. This is definitely the best looking one out of the three. Look at this, we're like in a rainbow room with a bunch of weird, I don't know if that's painting or, it looks like stained glass, but it isn't. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So here we have a dino foe. Uh, let's just do this. If I was able to do a jump attack on it, I would have killed it in one hit. Let's see if I could do it like that. Uh, whatever, it's dead anyways. It's not that hard to kill. But one down, we got a couple more rooms though. Now, I'm not going to use... Ah, uh, should I? Yeah, you know what? Let's use it. Why not? Let's use our Great Fairy Sword, because I rarely use it as it is. Let's go ahead and take this bad boy out. Now it is the Garo Master Ninja thing. All right. There we go. We were able to hit him, but he hit me back. I don't... I'm not really good against this guy, to be honest, because I'm more of the person who likes to go in, go ham, and he also does the same thing, and we don't work well together, but when you look at that, I actually ended up killing him pretty freaking fast and he suicided but he also faded away so he didn't explode with the bomb so it didn't really look like much of a suicide type move was it nearly as badass but what we need here is we need this and we need this obviously you don't need a transformation mask for this one because it doesn't require any these are all battles so you need your sword and shield I guess and might to do this one but yeah, we got gossip stones to talk to if you want to. Oh, look at this, an iron knuckle battle. Sweet. Uh, all right. Jump attack, jump attack, back flip, jump attack. He is going to die in one more hit. Or two. Two with the great fairy sword, I'm pretty sure. So. One, two, bam. These guys are definitely really easy. These gals, I don't know. Assuming they're gals because the iron knuckles are pretty much Gerudo knights and stuff so high chance they are gals but here we get some arrows oh bomb chews okay well we get some bomb chews if you look up here there's a thing to explode this is how you continue on this is what makes this area confusing even though the bomb chews kind of hit towards what you need to do it's like hey uh we gave you something you don't really use throughout the game maybe you should try it out in this room so you look around and you realize that is exactly what you've wanted your whole life a nice bomb chew that explodes Feels like that. We're gonna go ahead and hit it. So let's go ahead and take out our arrows. I'm gonna take out my fire arrows because I actually need that for the next room. All right, let's go ahead and. Our... Wow, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> I think maybe with fire arrows, I'm just not good at shooting things correctly. I don't know, man. But yeah, guys, we are almost done with this. The piece of art should be right up ahead, actually. Yes, it is. Sweet. Now this room will locked in because if we look on top of us, oh yeah, look at that, yes, all 20 heart containers. You look at that, all right. Anyways, don't worry about the time, we have infinite time here because obviously we're in the moon itself, so yeah. I think after three ticks, it should explode perfectly. Yep, and then the other room, I waited like four ticks with the, um, with the bomb shield, so yeah. That's how I did it. If you, you know, are curious on how you're supposed to uh, time the bomb chew, you just want to see it glow like three times and then shoot it and you're golden. But here we are in the final room, time to give away the remaining masks. And like I said, don't worry, you are actually losing these for good. If you couldn't tell by the game, you don't really lose stuff that important. It wouldn't really make much sense, especially for Zelda game. But 
Yeah, let's go ahead and give away the Great Fairy's Mask. Save the best for last. Actually, this is the best. This is actually my favorite normal mask, which is the bunny hood. You know, a non-transformational mask. But yeah, so we have done it. It is not complete, though. You'll notice there's one more person we must speak to, and that is the kid with Majora's mask. Now, speaking to him will actually initiate the final battle, but he'll also give you the mask if you gave away all of your other masks to the other kids. Now, I said masks quite a bit in this episode, but that's fine, because it is time to get it. So, oh man, here we go. I am really, really excited. I'm going to go ahead and take out my arrows here. Uh, what else? I don't really think I need anything else, so yeah. Maybe Great Fairy Sword, I could use it. All right, so, oh man, I'm actually like super excited. This kid here is gonna give it to me. He's gonna give me the mask I've been waiting for all this time. Everyone has gone away, haven't they? Will you play with me? Yes. You don't have any masks left to share, do you? Well, let's do something else. Let's play good guys against bad guys. Yes, let's play that. And there we go, you got the Fierce Deities Mask! Could this mask's dark powers be as bad as Majora? Tremendous power is emanating from within. Yes, guys, this is hands down my absolute favorite mask within the game because you essentially become a god. And you guys are going to see what I mean by that. But let's go ahead and take on Majora once and for all. And yeah, it goes in our ongoing events. I wonder if it lets us know that we got, yep, the final mask. That's what it's known as. Really cool title for it. And you can see Fierce Deities mask in the icon. Wow. All right. So, are you ready? You're the bad guy. And when you're bad, you just run. That's fine, right? Well, shall we play? 